Hello indie game fans, since we last talked about beat em up, fighting or brawler indie games, I've been seeing a slight uptick in the number of games in this classic genre with a new twist or two, so here are some titles with demos for the Steam Next Festival. Let's begin with Mad Streets, a good looking multiplayer brawler party game with the requisite ragdoll physics. Yes, it is not a traditional beat em up, but more in the vein of gang beasts. So if you know how fun that game can be, how about adding more realistic fighting to it? It has a great look with a number of varied characters, but the physics based nature of this looks to be quite fun. Quick teaser for Briefland Knights, the next title from developer Tortuga Team, who have been primarily making turn based titles, where this is a roguelite beat em up in the vein of Lost Castle and Could Be Neat. The developer of Pets Are Not Allowed did reach out to me, but I think that this is quite an interesting take on the fighting game. This game comprises of 1v1 fights where robots face off against each other, where forbidden headwear awakens the consciousness of these robots leading to rebellion. It's a self-described fighter RPG, so I'm curious about the systems here. A beat em up title that has a very interesting papercraft look is Tough Law, a gritty, hard boiled police story, but would you just look at the animation of this game? The way that the paper or card bends and moves looks fantastic, making this of interest to me. Alright, so this is a little bit of a weird entry, since in case you missed it, Young Souls showed up on my list of surprise indie game releases, since this is a Stadia exclusive for whatever reason and is already out, but somehow has quite a limited exclusivity window and will be coming to Steam in Q4 this year. However, it's a brawler action RPG, which means loot and stats in addition to the beat'em up action where two siblings must fight monsters from another realm in order to save their foster father. I know that some of you are very curious about this, and you should be since it has a Metacritic score of 83, even though it's just from 4 outlets, so satisfy your curiosity by checking the demo out.
Like Tough Law covered above, I quite liked the look of Contract Killer, which was a nice surprise when I was looking for games to show off since your playable characters are a bunch of writing utensils from a pencil, marker, paintbrush and even fountain pen. You are quite literally fighting against the law, seeking to erase the final signature on a legal contract that has bound thousands to their legal demise. Very clever to have anthropomorphic stationery as the characters here, which makes it something different and of interest. Of course, Terror of Hammersaurus gets a very special spot on the list since I like developer Lauren Lemke and his work including Super Blood Hockey and over 9,000 zombies, with this next title being a Rampage-like city special mark. For those of you too young to know, Rampage is a bona fide arcade classic where you play as giant monsters, smashing cities and eating people, where of course this game is a tribute to that. For what it's worth, I love the pixel art and the designs of the playable monsters, with the art when the creature is climbing looking very cute indeed. I do wonder if there's any progression in this, or if it's simply an old school arcade title, but either way, it looks fantastic, taking the number one spot. For more beat em up titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump. <laughs>